Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 50 favorite Monster High dolls, but I'm not a Monster High collector. So before that confuses any of you, I have a whole video explaining why I love Monster High, but why I do not collect them. You are more than welcome to go check that out, but basically in a nutshell, when I wasn't actively collecting dolls is when Monster High was in their prime. I got back into dolls. Monster High had been long gone from store shelves and then Rainbow High came out and kind of took over my life. But I still thought it would be fun to appreciate the amazingness that is Monster High, especially with the recent releases of the Creep Productions and things like that. So huge credit to Raven Rye for literally making like the best videos for doing this research. She has so many ranking videos like this. My favorite is where she's ranked every single Monster High line. That was so freaking helpful. She used a website called monsterhighcollector.com and that is the website I also use. So go please subscribe to Raven because she's amazing and go check out that website if you have any questions on the dolls. So I wanted to do top 10 and then it just kept getting bigger and bigger. So I thought 50 would be okay. So this is just my opinion. Please keep your comments positive and polite down below. If your favorite doll is not on this list, I do apologize. My opinions most likely are subject to change as they always do. But you will see like a lot of repeat themes and colors and characters and stuff. I didn't give myself any special limits except there's no like Skelector dolls, Comic-Con exclusive, like anything like that. So these are just the basic Playline dolls that were released in stores. So this is going to be a long one. Grab a snack, grab a drink. Let's kick it off with number 50. Number 50 is Monster Exchange Laguna Blue. Number 49 is the only Katrine Demu on this list and it is New Scare Master. And at number 48, we have the only Gulia Yelp style on this list and that is Dawn of the Dance Gulia. Maybe it's because she's wearing a dress and it like looks super fancy and that's my aesthetic, but I don't know. Next, we have Signature Frankie Stein and she used to be my actual favorite of the original ghouls. I just really love the whole plaid look that she has going on. After that, we have signature Spectre of Ondergeist, and then we have killer style Draculaura. 44 is Ghouls Night Out Rochelle, and in 43rd place, coincidentally, is another Ghouls Night Out doll, and that is Miss Spectra herself. And then we have Haunted Claudine. I just think this is a very unique look for Claudine. I mean, some people are not the biggest fan of this line, as I've noticed, but I think it's a really cool line, and I think Claudine looks really awesome. In the next spot, we've got Signature Claudine Wolf, and I want to say really quickly that I used my regular bias sorter to sort through these, so I will leave that linked down below as well. Next up, we have Mercedes King from Boo York, and this is like, I, the website said it was the gala version. I don't know. She just looked way fancier than the other one, and I preferred her, and I always, like, I love the whole, like, Mouse 80s thing. I think she's really cute. And then next up, we have Scarnival Skeleta. I'm not really a huge fan of Skeleta, but I thought her dress was really cute, and this is the only Skeleta doll that will make an appearance on this list. Next is Gloom and Bloom, Jane Boo Little, and then we have Haunted Draculaura. I honestly wanted to put the whole Haunted line on here, you guys, but I had to pick. I didn't want to do like an entire line and I kind of just picked my two favorites. So that would be Claudine and Draculaura. And then we have Dot Dead Gorgeous Abby. She's the one in the middle here. I forgot to get a solo picture of her, but she was released in this three pack and she's so adorable. In 35th place, we have Fright's Camera Action Viprene. And my favorite thing about her is definitely her pink boots. And then we have Freak Do Chic Claudine. Now I found that the Monster High community either loves this doll or they hate this doll. She's very, very interesting, super unique for Claudine. She doesn't look like a Claudine to me, but I think that her whole concept is really cool and unique, and I absolutely love the Freak Douchey line, so you will see more of those ghouls on this list to follow. In 33rd place, we have Scaris Frankie, and I really am obsessed with her boots. <laughs> Next, we have Dawn of the Dance Laguna, and spoiler alert, she is the only other Dawn of the Dance doll that made this list. Then we have two Lagunas in a row, Dot Dead Gorgeous Laguna. I don't know why, just something about her skirt and her hairstyle just I absolutely fell in love with. And then Dot Dead Gorgeous Operetta, and I love Operetta. Like, I noticed I've loved a lot of her dolls, so there will be more of her to come, but she is absolutely adorable, and I think it's just because her color is mainly red, and it's my second favorite color, so Operetta's just speak to me. We have Scaris Claudine here, and I don't know why I picked her. Just something about her just really enchanted me, so I had to put her on the list. Picture Day Operetta is another Operetta, and I think there's one more on this list, but like I said earlier, she just speaks to me. I love her skirt so, so much. And then we have the ballerina Monica DK, and a fun fact I learned while researching all these ghouls is that the ballerina line was apparently never released 
in like to the public but I did ballet for 10 years and I freaking fell in love with this doll she just looks really really cool and I would absolutely love to have her she just like isn't she so precious I don't know if precious is the right word to use now that I think about it like maybe she's mean like she looks vicious kind of okay never mind she's not precious she looks really freaking vicious which I mean is great too at number 26 is 13 wishes Howleen. so this is my favorite movie out of the few that I've seen I absolutely loved this movie and it's one of my favorite lines and this is my favorite Howleen, probably because she's got the long pink hair and even though she's got bangs I absolutely love her at spot 25 so we're about halfway through is 13 wishes abby i think like the headpiece really throws me off but if you were to take that off i've seen ones without this she just looks really pretty and abby is like one of my favorite characters i absolutely like she's so freaking funny like i don't think she means to be but she's so funny and then we have sweet screams frankie again another doll with bangs that i really like i like how the bangs match her dress and it's just it's really cool next we have shriek wrecked dana and i have never heard anybody talk about this doll i'm guessing a lot of people don't like her if you do let me know because i discovered her in my researching for this video and like her skirt is amazing her whole like face the only thing i don't like about this doll are her shoes maybe it's because they're blue i don't know i have also heard like people either love this line or they hate it i personally think it's okay i just i had to put this doll on this list and then i was like wow as i was ranking all of them like she kept getting higher and higher and i was like she's actually really pretty and i love her next is signature abby and i love her she is a doll that i actually would buy like new in box like i just i want to have her in pristine condition i love the fur it's like so freaking amazing then we have monster exchange draculaura i love the bow i love the heart purse like draculaura's whole pink and black aesthetic is like me as a human being speaking of that at spot 20 is the legendary caddy noir now if you know me you probably thought this was going to be my favorite i thought she'd come in a bit higher but you know what it's fine she has so much pink and like like she's she's me but i mean it's fine i love her and she kicks off our top 20 at number 19, we have Luna Matthews from Boo York. I didn't expect to love her more than Mousades, but apparently I do. Then we have Picture Day Draculaura. It's really just the outfit and the shoes that do it for me. Just again, that pink and black aesthetic perfection. At 17, we have Claudine as Little Red Riding Hood. It's honestly the black and red leopard because leopard is like my favorite pattern. And I just, she is my favorite out of the, like the Frankie and the Draculaura and the Claudine that come like in this set of like, scary tales or whatever it's called yeah definitely i prefer claudine the most at 16 is dance class laguna and fun fact i actually bought her on ebay but then i realized that she was not completely new in box she was unboxed and then thrown them back in her box and i ended up canceling the order because i really wanted her new in box but then at 15 we have batsy i love the idea of a white bat girl now even though she has a ton of green which green is my least favorite color i would absolutely like jump to own this doll she's really really cool in 14th place 14th place oh my god i've been doing this for too long we have scaris rochelle so i love paris i love all things pink and this girl or excuse me this ghoul just definitely speaks to my aesthetic lucky number 13 is for its camera action operetta and she is my highest ranking operetta just the shoes the big hairstyle the poofy dress the black white and red color scheme is just incredible at spot 12 we have ca cupid and i put her on here because she does cross over between monster and ever after and i didn't expect to rank her this high but honestly like she's a pink doll so like why why wouldn't she be like in my top 20 dolls and then in 11th place barely missing the top 10 is ghoul's rule claudine and literally just the outfit is everything kicking off our top 10 is ghoul's rule abby and she is my highest ranking abby doll so i guess that means she's my favorite there is so much happening here and it's just it's beautiful like i really can't describe like how much i love this entire outfit then we've got ghoul's rule draculaura at number nine and there's like even more happening here like the skirt the the face like just the hair the entire so much pink and i love it i love it so much this is my second favorite movie actually so it's another line i really really enjoy and you will see some more ghoul's rule in just a minute number seven we have freak du chic frankie stein and honestly the boots the hair the cute little top hat that's to the side i love everything about this like the little like flowy part of her skirt she's got going on in the back i really really love her and she is not my favorite frankie there's one more that beat her wait and see who it is in just a second at number six we have Fred's camera action elizabeth 
and she just looks like I don't know very very shadow high esque like storm twins watch out um you know that's like that's what she reminds me of so she's always been a doll that's really intrigued me and after seeing her in a couple people's videos and on people's channels and things like that I really really love Elizabeth Ghoul's Rule Frankie Stein kicks off our top five and yes this is my favorite Frankie is she the typical looking Frankie Stein absolutely not is she like the most enchanting looking Frankie Stein? Absolutely. Like, I think the hair, the dress, the boots, I'm, I'm really a sucker for Monster High black boots, but seriously, like, everything about this doll is so incredible. I don't know what I would do if I saw this one in person. Like, she is wicked enchanting, honestly. Like, that's just the only way I can describe it. She's really enchanting, and I would love to see her in person, but I don't think, if I found one secondhand, I don't think the hair would be in the greatest condition, so if I ever added this one, I might have to search for her new inbox, which might be quite difficult, but that doesn't make me love her any less. Boo York Nefra Denial is number four. Now, I want to say, I think she's got, like, my favorite face, like, aesthetically, like, just the way her face looks is just my favorite out of all the Monster High dolls. I think I've determined that over the couple of days that I've been working on this video. I just think she's really cool. And given that there's only, I think there's only one other Nefra doll made, like that's really freaking sad because I think she definitely deserved way more dolls. And I want to say just because there's no Cleos on this list does not mean I hate Cleo. I think Cleo is an incredible character. I just had to narrow it down to 50 guys. But yeah, Boo York Nefra is in fourth place. And I just realized as well, my top five is all like, it's all different characters. So you will not see a repeat of characters in my top five. In third place is 13 Wishes Draculaura. Now I want to say that spots two and three are interchangeable. I had a huge like internal debate with myself on which one I wanted to put where, but I just went ahead and I put Draculaura here. They're both from the same line. So I mean, they're kind of tied for spot two and three, but Draculaura, this is my favorite Draculaura. I literally love this dress. It is just impeccable. It is the best Draculaura outfit. Like, she is the best Draculaura, in my opinion, and I freaking love her to pieces. And in spot number two is 13 Wishes Claudine. So, it's definitely, like, the leopard, and she just looks like a queen or, like, a princess or something. It's just the way, like, her hair is with her facial, like, her makeup and the outfit. It's just extremely pleasing like pleasing to the eye and like i said her and draculaura can be interchangeable depending on just like how i'm feeling and you know what what the heck is happening so then who is my favorite monster high doll of all time if you have been here for a very long time you will know this you will know that i stalk this doll all the time you will know that i talk myself out of buying her because i know if i do it i'm literally going to go down the rabbit hole and i just i can't do that right now um and she's a doll that I, I don't really like any of her other dolls. This is the only one I like. And yes, she's a wear cat. Number one is Freak Do Chic Torlai Stripe. It's definitely the long red hair for me and the fact that she's a cat. I'm a crazy cat lady. My cat is literally my co-host. She's actually sitting on my lap as I'm filming this. So Olivia says hello, friends. But you would think I would hate her because like, there's so much going on like in her dress pattern wise but I everything blends so well together it's like just about all of my favorite colors wrapped into one doll I am obsessed with her I would want her new in box if the price was right she I think about her all the time she's just amazing and her character like as sassy and evil as she is she's incredible all right, my friends, I have done it. Those are my top 50 favorite Monster High dolls. It was a lot of fun. I really loved researching these dolls. I kind of hate myself for making this video because I want them even more. But you know what? We're going to continue the fun a little bit longer. Let me know if there's any doll lines that I do not collect or I don't have a ton of that you would like me to give my favorites on, like Bratz, Winks, Ever After High anything else my scene like whatever you want me to do I will look into those doll lines for you because I think this can be really fun it can definitely be a lot of fun to see how somebody who doesn't collect these dolls like from from an outside perspective like how somebody thinks about them if that makes sense I think this is going to be the start of a new series this, this could be really fun so let me know also who your favorite monster high doll is was she on this list or was she not if she wasn't let me know maybe I should check her out 
Anyway, if you are new and you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you join the fam. We have a lot of crazy fun here, mostly doll content, sometimes cat shenanigans. But anyway, also give this video a big thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you can know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye everybody.